We are going to run through the options um, that you have in terms of emailing the results to users that have taken your scorecard. So the score app platform will automatically fire off a results email. Now you have some options to disable this if you like, or to customize it. To do so, you would need to come to the scorecard builder, select results and results email. We can then, if you don't wish the email to come from the score app platform, you can just disable that by sliding this um, towards no. If you'd like to send it from the score app platform, just make sure that toggle is switched on. You've then got some fields which you can customize. So you can enter a from name, a reply to email. You can insert your subject and then you can customize the body of the email. So if you're on the start package, generally uh, we would give people the access to their result link. So the results page that they received at the end of the questions um, and then they've got it to refer back to should they need to. If you're on the advanced package upwards, it may be that you've developed a PDF and you want that results email to contain a link to the PDF. So we have all the available merge fields here. And if it's the PDF you would like to, to change it to, you can click on the merge field, select change and pick up the report button. Once you've made those changes, if you select save, um, and then I would recommend that you test the email and you can do so um, by launching the scorecard, um, going through the process and then checking how the email arrives in your inbox. I have um, prepared a version earlier just to show you that we now have the subject here, the from name, um, the customization in the body of the email. Um, and if I click on reply, it will go to the email address that I've entered.